When it's time to make your dinner And you don't know what to choose Guess what? You've got a meal and a muse <laughs> Welcome back to A Meal and a Muse Where I am joined by a fellow artist And we cook a dish that has some significance to either of us And then we sing a song We have a very special guest uh, The one and the only Miss Sandy Red That's red with two doggone D's <laughs> What's up? Oh, what an intro. Thank you so right. much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us today. This is Sandy Rush. She's uh, currently, we're doing the uh, Jesus Christ Superstar tour together. We only have about three days left of this tour yes. after three years of being on the road together. My God. <laughs> I'll never and... forget. Uh, in the rehearsal room in New York, I remember yeah. introducing you to my guitar, yes. uh, whose name is also Sandy. And uh, we've been through a roller coaster of a ride. But yes. today we're here to talk about Miss Sandy Red herself uh, and and the things that she's done uh, and the things that she's going to do. Uh, it's all really great and we're in for a treat. We're also going to make a dish uh, that Sandy picked and what are we making today? <laughs> <laughs> today we are actually making some good old quesadillas good which old quesadillas. is a dish that my sons actually, you know, request of me all the time. So. Nice. You have two sons. Yes, They're I do. 22 years old and one's about to turn 16. Yes. Uh huh. Also, hello, can you believe? <laughs> Come <What>? on. <laughs> um. My sons are literally my heart and soul. They are the reason why I do what it is that I do. Yeah. They're the reason why I follow my dreams because I want to be an example of to them in order for them to be able to do the same. So, yeah, absolutely. We, they actually, you, you shared a story um, before the show, we circle up as a cast and mm -hmm. take some deep breaths together and one person uh, shares something that's on their heart. And yeah. uh, that day, uh, Sandy Red was going on as Judas and uh, she talked about her sons and the fact that yeah. they are her why. Yeah. And um, it hit me because like, it's so important to, to have a why. Like, not just in your career, but in your entire life. Absolutely. Like a reason. What's that one reason why uh, you do what you do? And to have that be your sons, that's pretty pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. They're a pretty good reason. They are definitely my number one reason for living at this point. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, let's get to work. Let's like yes, uh, yes, let's yes. make some stuff. We've got... Okay, so we have our ingredients. Uh, we have our mm -hmm. before ingredients. And we've got our <laughs> after ingredients. Um, so what do we have here? We have... Some seasoned chicken. Yes, we have also some fresh vegetables, the bell pepper, the onion, the mushroom, the cilantro. You know, I like vegetables in my quesadillas because they just add a little bit more flavor and oomph and then it right. kind of thickens up. That's you know, right. the situation a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're not just making any like plain old quesadilla. <laughs> this is going to be special. So. Absolutely. There's so. a reason why her sons at 22 and 15 turning 16 ask for this on a regular basis. So, mm -hmm. so let's go ahead. Yeah, yes. so we've got... Uh, we have preheated on the pan mm -hmm. and a little bit of our uh, right. oil. Now we're just going to add in all the... Add in all the vegetables so nice. first. I'm just going to like... Do this here. Well, thank you. <laughs> I actually don't look this cute when I cook on a regular basis, okay? I don't believe it. I'm wearing a t-shirt and a bonnet most of the time. <laughs> so there yeah, we'll get that on in there. Get those sauteed. Now what I like to do is add just a little bit of salt and pepper. So to my veggies. Get that nice and wonderful. Nice and cracked on in there. Add a little bit of our cilantro. cilantro. See? Might turn the dish a little green. That's but we're fine good. with that. We're fine with that. <laughs> so while this is sauteing, uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions and we'll yeah. talk about some things and get to know you a little bit better. Ask um, away. As, so cool. As, as most people know, uh, you were on The Voice uh, yes. back in 2018. She's a very emotional singer and she brings those emotions to the stage. How do we fall in love? You could sing pretty much anything because your spirit is so like, oh my god. Thank you. How do we fall Sandy Red is the epitome of soul. And Sandy Red, you have moved the bar even higher. Sandy Red. You're literally one of the best singers I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry, you don't sound like 
anybody else to me in the world. I get chills and, and I feel the spirit moving every time she opens her mouth. Run me like a nominated for an R&B Entertainer of the Year at the Chicago Music Awards. Yeah. You won WGCI's Kickstart Your Dreams. Wildly accomplished, and it feels like the best is still yet to come. You are like fire. I mean, you are bleeding everything you want in this career. We can watch it. It was so magnificent. I felt more energy from you than just one genre of music. Like, you had rock and roll, yeah. you had soul, you had almost a little, I'm sorry to say, country. You are too good to box yourself into one thing. See, don't you feel like crying? Cry with me. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. I'm such a fan forever. Thank like, you. Thank you so much. Well, let's talk about that experience, though. Like, yeah. being on The Voice and going through, like, it was kind of like a, a was it like a burst into stardom for you, or was it, was, have you already experienced, like, you, you've done film and TV stuff, yeah. you've been on stage a lot. Yeah. Uh, actually, you did Jesus Christ Superstar right before that. I did. Right? I did. When it was... It was on its three-month run at the mm -hmm. Lyric Opera House in Chicago mm -hmm. before they started the national tour. And, you know, just the, the, the fame, I would say, I experienced on a local level because, you know, I'm from Chicago. Mm -hmm. I, I sang everywhere from your local karaoke talent shows, every bar, nook, and cranny that you can think of, everybody's wedding, mm -hmm. everybody's funeral, like mm -hmm. everywhere in Chicago. Yeah. Um, but the voice allowed me to have, you know, my gift be recognized on a national platform and for people to be able to recognize my talent literally all over the world. And when I say all over the world, I literally just vacationed in Mexico and somebody ran up to me and was like, are you Sandy Red? I was like, oh my God, they know me! As it should be. As it so yeah, should be. It, was, it was very The entire funny. world needs to know about Sandy Red, okay? Thank you. Um, so what do we do with this chicken? <laughs> Now that the vegetables are kind of, you know, sauteed and they're, you know, you know, getting in the nitty gritty of their own mm -hmm. juices, now we add the chicken to kind of, just you know, in. just go on ahead and dump it on in there. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. Now, we have pre-seasoned our chicken as well with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper as well. Mm -hmm. And now that the vegetables are kind of cooked down a little bit, now we want all of those flavors to meld and mold themselves together. All right. Yeah. There's nothing like cooking with bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms. They not only add really good flavor, but they also add really, really good texture to your food. So and it's healthy. It's healthy. You want to get your vegetables healthy. in. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So now we're cooking the chicken mm -hmm. in the vegetables, um, and I want to know more about this journey from. Jesus Christ Superstar in Chicago mm -hmm. to the 50th anniversary national tour, yeah. starting as ensemble, soul mm -hmm. singer, um, and then later being, I guess you could say promoted, or you right. know, to, uh, <laughs> to Judas Understudy. Now, yes. this is a very big deal because like, at this level, on mm -hmm. this type of stage, like a Broadway level show uh, mm -hmm. or production, we're pretty sure I think it's safe to say that there's never been a female Judas in that type of production or in a production of this caliber. Not on the Broadway level, absolutely right. not. For Sandy Red to be uh, to be recognized for her talent and her ability to sing this role and to yeah. portray this character um, is is something that well you actually manifested uh, yeah. in a way like a, for three or four years ago. So yeah, when I first. Uh was a part of the production at the Lyric Opera House in Chicago. I, um, when I first heard the role of Judas, I was like, that's my, that's my role. Yeah. That's my part, that's me. That's like, I felt it in my bones. Mm -hmm. But you know, I really didn't um, put any um, real work behind it. I just, I just sort of put it in the atmosphere a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, so from there, when the 50th anniversary tour started, I said it again, like, this is my role. I know that's meant for me, but mm -hmm. I, I just didn't know how it was going to happen yeah. or, or, or what was going to come of that. So um, a little bit later on, we, of course, as we know, we had yeah. a few 
yeah. minor issues with uh, you know finding a Judas. Yeah. Um, an, an opportunity arose. An opportunity uh, arose. That, that yeah. we needed another Judas cover, and yeah. and the company, uh, our producer, they were they were on the search to mm -hmm. find someone uh, outside of our own company. But Sandy Red said, mm, you know what? I'm just going to give you a video. Yeah. Of me singing these parts, and um, well, what's funny is that I actually I actually went to a couple of the higher ups, uh -huh. and I told them I said, okay, so I'm your Judas. And I need to know how to audition. Like, what do I do? And I think they thought I was joking because they sort of like kind of yeah. like, oh, okay, right. Oh, that's fine. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm, I'm just like, okay, somebody take me seriously. Yeah. I went home. I literally wrote it down in my manifestation book. There's this mm -hmm. book that I literally don't write anything in it unless I'm going to be very intentional mm -hmm. about really going forth with it and putting in the work and activating my faith behind it. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote it in my manifestation book and I wrote it literally just like this. Judas is my role. So ladies and gentlemen presenting Sandy Red as Judas it's in my book just like that. And then I submitted my tapes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't told how to audition. I wasn't told where to go. I literally just said, they're not going to be able to unsee it once they see it. So mm -hmm. just put it in. That's true. And, and yeah. being getting to be a part of your um, your taping process yeah. was also a joy. Like there, there yeah. were probably five or six of us, seven maybe, just like, we all wanted to help. Yeah. Like we were like, what can I do? I can, I can and help support you with like, you know, cast. ring lights and, and filming mm -hmm. and singing back up and playing the piano, like all this stuff. Mm -hmm. we, we just had a, a team of people that were ready to support Sandy in her uh, in her journey to become Judas. And, and I was so grateful for that because you it, it our cast is unlike any cast that I've ever been a part of. Just the support, the love, and the energy that we get mm -hmm. from each other is just literally in my lifetime has been unmatched. Mm -hmm. I pray to God that I run into another cast of people like you guys because it has literally carried me through our COVID times through just everything that we've been through as a as a, a JCS family. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. So shout out to the JCS cast and crew. Bam and band. <laughs> Bam band. Absolutely. Uh, for all the support that you've given us and we've given each other. Yeah. I mean it's it's a it's palpable. Absolutely. Um, so I think it's time. Right. So now that the chicken looks pretty much done this is the time that I actually like to add my fajita seasoning to it. Ooh. So that way we can give it that little final oh. flavor. So, fajita seasoning, ladies and gentlemen. Would you do the honors, please, oh, Sir Tommy? Me? Sure. <laughs> Bam! There we go. And we whisk <laughs> that on around in there. And of course, it's going to turn my wonderful red color. Ooh. With two doggone D's. Doggone. Two doggone D's. <laughs> Chicken is pretty much done, so now yeah, it done. it's time to create our fajita. We're gonna create a fajita. <laughs> All right, we've got so now we've got our tasting forks yes. uh, that we're gonna <laughs> use to taste the chicken because you know, as a cook, uh, you, you to. need to you need to know what things taste like, and you know, it's also I'm very hungry, so right. Uh, we've been waiting on this. It's hot. It's hot. How did you do that? That's so mm. good. Oh my god. That's good. It's so good. Mm. Spicy. Mm. It's nice. I love spicy. Mm -hmm. Spicy is my thing. So. That's tasty. That's tasty mm -hmm. treat. So that is good to go. So what we're going to do is so we're going to. We've got our after ingredients here. Yes, we're going to move these back just a little bit so we can make some room for our meat. I actually like to start preheating my pan for the actual fajita. And then add a little. It's like a medium to me. It's like a more low than medium, but yeah, yeah still. Okay, so Sandy has just told me how to build the quesadilla. Yes. So while I do that, actually I did want to make one more note about uh, her playing Judas. Recently, you had some special audience members. I'm going to go ahead and start building this. Yeah. Um, but you had some special audience members come see you play Judas. Uh, yes, I did. The, our last Saturday in Chicago. Mm -hmm. It was a matinee, and um, 
all these kids in orange shirts were there. Yes, uh, <laughs> my bird right. babies. Yeah, so <laughs> this is uh, Mama's Birds. It's, yes. um, it's an organization that you founded, and when, when did you? I founded Mama's Birds back in 2011 mm -hmm. um, in honor of my mother, Evangelist Margaret Owens Bussey. Um, my mother was a powerhouse singer that taught me and my brothers and sisters, all of our friends, everybody in the community how to sing. She was literally a community mother. And, uh, you know, she wanted to start a school eventually because she used to put on plays and shows and different things like that. And we actually sang background for her. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, um, cancer took my mother back in 06. Mm -hmm. And so by 2011, I was literally woken up out of my sleep with this vision for the program. And I automatically just started um, creating a flyer for it in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock in the morning. Wow. In the middle of the night. And so um, it births Mama's Birds, which is a program, it's a performing arts program where we teach kids how to sing, dance, act, song, write. We take them to the studio to record the songs that they write in class. We um, have, we give them professional photo shoots. We bring in celebrity guest speakers to come and sign autographs, take pictures with them, you know, tell them how they made it and go through their story and encourage them. You know, they have a finale showcase. They earn money through the program. It's the, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. So this year, I thought that it would be extra special with me, you know, not only being one of their, one of their um, instructors and the program director, but also being somebody who can influence them by, by showing them that I do what it is that I teach them on a daily basis. Show them how it's done. Yes. Yeah, so... I was able to work with the Broadway League, um, Broadway in Chicago, the Cadillac Palace Theater, and Work Life Productions to create a field trip for my bird babies to come out and actually see me be Judas on Broadway. And they felt amazing. They thought it was incredible. The experience was like none other, especially for a lot of my bird babies who don't get to experience a production like that on a Broadway level. Yeah. So it, it was very special. To me and to them. I mean, and, and to all of us to yeah. to know that that was happening and then the way they ran, ran up to you yeah. after the show. But yeah, and I, I, I also feel fortunate that, that we were there for enough time mm -hmm. during your rehearsal process mm -hmm. um, that I got to take a zip car down and visit <laughs> and meet, meet the bird baby, uh, oh, yeah. birds and um, and like see you interact with them and the yeah. way they respect you and look mm -hmm. up to you and, uh, and just like the things you would say to them like just yeah. and they would immediately take your notes and yeah. they would they would yeah it was, it was it was just a great experience for me to see that in person they too. want it all they need is the the right backing the right encouragement the right mm -hmm. uh structure and they're really talented kids yes, too they are. um all right so wait so i've been making this <laughs> in layers first layer He's cheese been building it. then you got your chicken with the uh -huh. vegetables and then uh and then you add your like tomato Jalapeno and spinach, mm -hmm. more cheese on top. Uh, yes. I assume we're gonna fold it over. We're folding that baby over. Okay, we're gonna yes. fold it, Neil. Uh huh. Looking All right, good. Alright, smoosh a little bit. And you're gonna transfer this over to this nice sizzling hot. Some sizzling hot. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bam. There we go. Now so. we'll turn that down just a little bit so it won't cook too fast before it melts. Mm. everything together yeah that was a really special experience to like see yeah. all these kids who look up to you so much as they should and how fortunate are they to have the sandy red <laughs> as their as one of their instructors yeah. it's a it's a really special program i'll put the uh website uh in the in the info click the link look up uh see if you want to get involved or if you uh, know a school district who wants to invite Absolutely. uh their team because they are a traveling team we and are. can go all around the chicago area and i've never missed a year we i made sure that even with me being on tour and on the road with this production i specifically formulated my schedule to make sure that i was there and present for my bird babies because it's important not just for me to be the founder and for them to see my face every now and then, but mm -hmm. for them to know that somebody even of my caliber is involved and and there enough because I love them and I mm -hmm. I care about where their future is headed. So and that's that's important. Like yeah. teach these kids. So cool. So we're about to turn this, but yes. um, while I'm I'm gonna keep an eye on this and everything. <laughs> but I would love to know uh, what's happening next in your life. Like what's uh, and what's next in Sandra Red's career. Yeah. Now that the tour is pretty much over, 
Um, my goal, my number one goal, is uh, I know that I'm an ego. I know I am. Mm -hmm. I feel it in my bones, and I've already written it in my manifestation book. So, you know, of course, my goal is to be intentional about, you know, my direction in my career, making sure that I get on Broadway, New York, so that I can, mm -hmm. you know, get into that realm of being nominated for something because I know I have the talent mm -hmm. to to get there. I'm currently working on my first full length album right now nice. that could get me that uh, that Grammy. Yep. <laughs> you know, so I'm working on that. It's called Seeing Red. Uh, it's my two dog on these. Two dog on these. Dog on it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first project where I'm actually the the writer of the music. I'm singing the music. I'm uh, producing the beats for the music. Uh, you know, even down to creating my own cover art for the for the visuals and everything like that. I really want people to feel me, yeah. feel read yeah. through this project. So. Um, that's coming up as well to kind of solidify that, you know, yeah. that Grammy. Yeah. So we got the Tony and the Grammy cover. Nice. You know, I've got great <laughs> agents that, you know, are, are constantly on the search for, you know, the perfect roles for me to get on, you know, the daytime television and also the, uh, you know, uh, film mm -hmm. and all of that because, of course, I'm a dynamic actress, y'all. She sure is. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> don't, don't really toot my horn much at all, but, you know, I'm I can so attest grateful. to that. I, I, I can, I definitely, I'm mean, like, I, I know you through working yeah. with you for the past three years and yeah. we spent a lot of time together and you definitely, you're one of the most humble people. Uh, yeah. I, I, I can say that because like, because we're spending this uh, afternoon talking about you and how wonderful you are, but like, this is the only time that I've ever heard you talk that way. You put people before you, you put mm -hmm. any, like, friends, coworkers, family, yeah. you're always putting people before you. Yeah. And yet you still have this passion, this uh, you, you still have this work ethic and, and can do all these things yeah. and be a mom <laughs> and run mama's birds. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. But I feel like, uh, you know, God really put me on this earth for a purpose. Yeah. He put me on this earth to be a vehicle to help change the world. Yeah. And I feel like the change that the world needs to see actually happens. It starts with our babies. Mm -hmm. If we so if we utilize our gifts to sow positive seeds into our babies' lives, then we can help raise good and decent human beings that could be our next presidents, our next world leaders, mm -hmm. you know, our next uh, uh, business owners and CEOs and things like that. You know, we focus so much on trying to change adults mm -hmm. who are already set in their ways. Mm -hmm. You're not going to change an adult for the most part. It's possible to change, but it's most of the time unlikely so if you want change to happen in this world overall you got to start with the baby so even in you know what i'm doing with my sandy red brand with the mama's birds brand with you know everything that i'm doing all of it is to feed back into the fact that it's important for us to be an example of what we want to see in this world it's all about you know using whatever gifts God gave you to really sow positive seeds into this world. Mm -hmm. And I do not take my gift for granted. I understand the power of music. I understand that it has the power to change lives, that it has the power to heal, it has the power to change moods, it has the power to change atmospheres. I even say all of this in one of my, in one of my songs because music is powerful mm -hmm. and I do not take that power for granted and so I'm here to use that to do what I can and you have such a gift to Thank do that you. so um and you have a gift in the kitchen because like hey. I love Pow. oh man I can't wait <laughs> we are ready to turn this sucker over bam oh baby look at that look at that look at that isn't that beautiful that looks real nice nice and crispy <laughs> oh yeah, and it smells so good. This is a food orgasm. All right, Sandy Red, so this looks amazing. Uh, before you. we dig in, are we going to garnish it? Absolutely. Okay. First, okay, need your spoon? Need your spoon. Okay. Got it. Got my spoon. All right. All right. First, you take a dip out of the sour cream. The sour cream. Get a first. nice little healthy helping, mm -hmm. and you put a dollop right in the middle. Boop. Just like that. Oh, that's, that's a dip, not a dollop. Give me a dollop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we take, mm -hmm. let's see, our forks and get you some salsa. I guess I could have used We should have, right? We could have used it. <laughs> it's all right. Put the salsa right 
in the center of the sour cream. It is a nice thick salsa. So yes, it is. So you can use the fork. Just fork. fine. Uh huh. And there then, go. once you get that smack dab in the mm -hmm. middle, you take a little bit of your cilantro. Get your little cilantro. And whisk it on top. Mm. And you have a meal. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we have our quesadillas. I'm about to dig in. Yes, please I... dig in. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. That's really good. Mm hmm. Might now be the best quesadilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have an added bonus. Um, mm -hmm. My sister gave me this Kentuckian bourbon hot sauce. Are we trying it? We're going to try it. Come on, let's go. Maybe not on camera. I don't know. That's, <laughs> we'll save it. Maybe too hot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Wait, Yes, please just dab it right there. Let's mm -hmm. see what it's doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's like a chipotle mm -hmm. base. Mm -hmm. Nice. Got some heat. That's nice. There you go. <laughs> and cool. Oh, my goodness. Well, this has been an absolute pleasure. Um, why don't we finish eating this and then sing about it? Absolutely. All I'm right. Ready. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Take me on a, a trip I like to go some day. Take me to New York. I love to see.